Yes, baby. It's Power 1051. Inside trending topics. Uh, so we found my guy, Ron Browse, who's on the phone right now. Hello? What's going on, Angie? It's so funny. We were just talking about you in the room because I was trying to figure out. Well, first of all, yesterday when this uh, Sheetha joint dropped, we were reminded that you produced the original Ether joint. Yeah, I was kind of upset that you said Salam Remy. I don't know why. Oh, you know why? Because Salam was working with Nas at that time, right? He was like doing, working on that album a bunch. So I don't know. I, I don't know why I got confused. It was a long time, Ron. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't imagine how much... I don't even know the history of that. Like, what you, Did you have any like backlash when you did Ether out the gate? No, actually, I, that's when I started to produce for everybody. Right after that, I produced for, you know, Fat Joe, Ludacris, 50 Cent. Oh, so that was the record that that broke you? That that was the record that got you popping? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, definitely. And wait, so have you ever met Hove after that? I met Hove one time in Baseline, but it, I went to go play some beats for um, Beanie Siegel, and he kind of just came in there. The beats was skipping, and he was just kind of like, yo, y'all got to was trying to tell the engineer what to do to make the beats not skip. So that was the only... But wait, was that before Ether or after Ether? You know what? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> nah. It nah, Ron. You, know, just, you would remember was, meeting Jay after Ether. You would remember that moment. Nah, because it was a funny vibe. It was a funny vibe because Beanie wasn't liking none of the beats. So I think it was after Ether. Really? They were like your right. beats. They were like your beats are whack. We don't like none of yeah, your beats. They, yeah, it's just, everything is trash. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> it was good to hear from you, baby. It's been a long time. Yes, yes. Last time I told you it was pop champagne around that time. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was a long time ago. So wait, did you know yeah. this? Did you know? Did you have any idea that this sheet their joint was coming? No, not until the the night that the night before it dropped. Oh, they gave you a heads up. Kind of, sort of. Okay, he's like, <laughs> sorry, like, I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm not here to corner you. I'm not, here. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you in trouble. Like, you know, it's about to go down. But, you know, they had them, you know, they want to make sure the beat was right and all that. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. So then are you critical of it? Are you looking at it, like, next to Ether? And, like, what did you think um, when you heard it? It's the female version of Ether. Right. And then today we found out that it was actually charting. It's, like, number two on iTunes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's dope. So how does that work? Because you, you have to clear that, right? Because that's your beat. Yeah, definitely. Does Nas have to clear that? Um, I don't think so, because he didn't do the beat. Right, so it's just the beat, since there's none of his lyrics or vocals on it. Then he's... Yeah, if it was his vocals, then I think, you know, it's a different story. But since it's yeah. just the beat, it's just got to be cleared through me. Oh, so you eating off this. So number two on iTunes, I should congratulate you then. Yeah, thank you. Thank, All right. For the bag, <laughs> Congratulations, Ron thank Browns. Thank you for the bag, Remy. Well, thank you for calling last minute. I, I definitely was curious about how that, that all works. So it's cleared then. She can sell that. I was thinking yesterday that because she just jumped on it, maybe there wasn't clearances. It's like a mixtape joint and you can't sell it. But I guess if she cleared the beat with you, she could actually, this is like a single, right? It's like a yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a song. Yeah, Remy is my sister. You know, she held me down a lot through my career. So it's all love. Does this put you in any place with Nikki? Do you even know Nikki? No, actually, I did. I get crazy for um. I produce. I get crazy for Nikki. Oh, okay. So I know. I know both both parties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you so you staying out of it? Yeah, I did the beat. I ain't write the lyrics. <laughs> He's like, "What do you want me to do?" <laughs> All right, man. What else you got going on while we're here? Anything that people should know? Hey, man, I got a new record called Uncle Tom coming out featuring my man KJ and Tom Wap is about to take over the city. All right, Rob. Well, congrats, man. C congrats on, on the number two joint, by the way, on iTunes. Th thank you. Thank you, Angie. All right. We're going to get to the uh, rest of the trending topics coming up in a bit. It's Power 105.1.